The link at the bottom of the Facebook article here can be used to navigate to the Internet Archive itself. This is the page that sets up for us on the Internet Archive. The challenge here is to reproduce a search query that will give us what we want. The easiest way to do that is to click on Advanced Search. Only three fields need to be filled in here for Advanced Search. Any field contains the first field, Intelligencer, the title we're looking for. In this case, we're going to change it from Contains to Does Not Contain. The word Weekly and the collection is from the Community Archives of Bell and Hastings County. This is essentially what's required for the basic search. We'll click on search and see what we get. What comes up are a number of newspapers, 1875, 92, 64, and so on. We have to refine our search just a bit. Instead of going for the date archived, we're going to go for the date published. And we see here now we have newspapers from 1971. All right. What we need to now do is to sort them ascending instead of descending. So we'll click the button that sorts them in ascending value. This essentially produces the same display of newspapers we got from the um, original article and that was produced by the community archives. It is possible to search using these thumbnails. It's also possible to search a particular year, one year at a time. To do that, we come here underneath year, click on this and it brings up an alternate uh, filter for years. Let's say, for example, we wanted to check just the year 1871. We can see here that there are 12 months of newspapers. So the entire year apparently has been preserved for 1871. 1872, not so lucky, only four months of newspapers, so eight months of newspapers have been lost. In 73, four months are lost, with eight being preserved. In 1874, again, eight are lost, but four have been preserved. Let's take a look here at 1871. We'll check the box and click Apply Your Filters. Here we're applying the year filter. What comes up are 12 thumbnails one for each month in the year 1871, the year that had all 12 months of newspapers preserved. Let's go back and we'll uncheck that. We'll apply that filter. That should take us back to our original. Here again we have the newspapers that are produced or the, the display of newspapers produced by the community archives. If you scroll down that, more thumbnails will appear section by section. And scrolling again down, another section will appear and so on until you have literally hundreds of newspapers displayed. The number of newspapers pulled up by this search query is over 1,100, almost 1,200, 1,171. Let's alter our search query just a bit. Advanced search. Again, we want Intelligencer. But let's say we want to find here the weekly Intelligencers, which overlapped for some of this period. So here we're going to say weekly and we're going to say contains weekly. The collection again is the Community Archives of Belleville and Hastings County. And we click search. And after waiting for a few seconds, the weeklies appear. But again, we have to refine that. There's only 272 or two, pardon me, two, 207 uh, newspaper months produced here, or newspaper packages produced here. Uh, instead of date archived, we want date published. And we want it sorted by 
ascending values. But we can see here that when we go to the weeklies, they actually go back over 30 years earlier than the daily intelligencers did. Although, again, many of these newspapers uh, in the sequence are missing. Let's go back now and we'll pick up our search query again. Our advanced search for intelligencer. We want the daily newspapers this time, so we're going to say it does not contain weekly. And the collection is again the community archives of Belleville and Hastings County. We search. We refine by date published and sort by ascending values. And we're back to where we were with the URL provided by the community archives, our 1,171 results. Let's say, for example, we want to take a look at how you can search now within each of these newspapers. Let's go to our date filters, our year filters, and let's go to uh, 1871 and apply this filter. We're now looking only at the publications for 1871. There should be 12 of them, and there are. Let's say we want to use January 1871. There's some individual or event in January of 1871 that we want to research. Click that. And it will bring up 1871. Now let's say, let's say for example, that it's uh, an individual. Um, lots of famous individuals or well-known individuals from the early history of Belleville. Let's try Ketchison. Hit the Enter key. And there are a number of entries here for Ketchison. Here's one here, another one here, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and so on. So there's eight or nine at references here to uh, Ketchison. Several of these are in reference to Ketchison Ward, which was one of the um, divisions within the city of Belleville. This one refers to an individual Ketchison here. See the blue areas highlighted? This is where the name Ketchison appears. We need to zoom in a little bit on that column, so we'll click the Zoom button. We'll use our bottom scroll bar to come over here. It's in one of these two columns here. And what we see here, and this one is um, election of officers including Daniel R. Ketchison, Esquire. Here, the same man, D.R. Ketchison, is a secretary. This, these are notes from the West Hastings Agricultural Society. How can we actually use the Internet Archive for Genealogical Research. One individual that I was recently researching was Thomas Dorland Farley. Thomas Farley died on October the 8th, 1875. I want to find out if he was mentioned in the Daily Intelligencer. I'm going to my year filter. And I'm going to check 1875 and apply this filter. And up come the issues for 1875. I could go through all of these, all 12 of them, but I know that it was in October that he passed away. So I'm clicking the October uh, result. I want to search for him, and it is searchable. I click the search icon here, and I put in the word Farley and hit Enter. Farley. 
Enter. This goes through and finds all instances in this result of the word Farley. Most of them refer to John J. Farley, a doctor who was uh, very active in councils and uh, community organizations. But there is one on page 20 for Thomas D. Farley. This is probably him right here. I click on the highlighted name Farley and I find that on this page three, three uh, instances of that name are highlighted. I need to zoom in to read that. And what I find is this is the death announcement actually for T.D. Farley. Something new I learned in this article was that Thomas Dorland Farley did not die at home on his farm in Sydney Township. He died in Illinois on a trip with his wife. Let's examine another mystery individual, Benjamin Foster. Benjamin Foster died on February the 7th, 1898. How would we approach this issue with the Internet Archive? Well, first of all, we want to isolate to the year 1898. To do that, we can go to our year filter. If any are checked, uncheck them and then check 1898, which is actually right here. And we find that for 1898, there are 12 months of results. Apply the year filter. And here we are in 1898, and all 12 of these should relate to only 1898. He died in February, so we'll click on the February thumbnail. And we'll go up to the search, the search icon here, and we'll click. We want to enter the word Foster. and hit enter. Entry show for the Foster Company, Harry Foster, Foster Ward, another division within Bowel, George Foster, Foster Company, Foster Ward, Benjamin Foster. By clicking on the selection on the left, we find the obituary for Benjamin Foster. And not only do we find information about him, we find out about his family as well. Another individual of interest, this time on a distant branch on my own family tree, Barnabas Wartman Lane. Barnabas passed away in 1902 in August. Let's see if we can find information about him. First, we'll isolate the year, 1902. We go to our year filter, uncheck any that might be checked, and go to 1902. We notice in 1902 there's only six editions out of 12 that have survived. We'll check 1902 and apply the year filter and we'll see if the correct year is there. We need August and August is here. August 1902 survived so that's what we'll use. We'll click on the thumbnail for August 1902. We'll go to the search icon here and type in Lane and hit enter. Then 
many references to lanes because in those days everybody had a lane. Barnabas Wartman, lane. On this page, we need to look for the blue highlighted article. We need to zoom in. Use our scroll bars. And we find an article, we'll zoom once more and readjust. Mr. Barnabas Wartman Lane died last evening at the family residence, fourth concession of Sydney. Information about where he was born in Kingston, how long he'd been married, how long he'd lived there, his church affiliation, and some of his additional family. And in addition to that, it also tells where he was buried the Stone Church Cemetery.